Hello and welcome back everybody. In today's video, I will be covering the role of visuals in a performance and why symbol lines do them. First, I will be covering why we do visuals. For us, they add a type of flair that is very hard to do with other instruments. For example, the cymbal line often does flips and ripples, which are extremely hard to do on other instruments, but on cymbals, they are much more noticeable than, let's say, with drumsticks. Also, since we do not have as much music as other instruments, there is a lot more gaps in our music that we can fill with visuals that add to the performance. For the cymbal line, there are a variety of visuals that can be performed. First and easiest to cover are flips. They give a type of flair to the movements of positions and such from the cymbals. Other types of visuals are ripples, legato and staccato movements, static poses, and signature moves such as viper and surfer. Each of these add to the performance in their own way and depend on what the line is going for in that specific part of a performance, but all of them should add to the cleanliness of the visuals. With the line, it's not just about sounding clean, but it's also about looking clean as well. Another thing that is very important to a visual performance is facial expressions. This is a, an extremely important component of vibe and contribute greatly to how a performance is perceived by the audience. A lot of the time, a line is going for a strong look, while other times they are trying to act out a character. Either way, they add a sense of personality to the show that otherwise would not be there, let's say if the line was wearing like a mask or if the line was giving a monotone look. And as always, I'll try to include any examples here. Now that was a quick one. That is all for this video, but come back next time where we will be covering some of the symbol specific PT positions.